Hi friends, today let us discuss simulation topics. First, I, I like to tell you the simulation in MATLAB and this is the introductory video. So this is first we need to click on MATLAB. It will be opening like this. Yes. Here it will open like this. Here there are some partitions. Maybe here four partitions are there. One is current directory where the all our files will store. Generally these files will store under documents MATLAB folder. Of course we can give the some other different location also while installing the MATLAB itself. Okay after that it may not be possible of course you can transfer from this folder to other folder but in general people will store all these MATLAB files in some other di some other drive um, except C drive why because C drive is allocated for maybe system files operating files operating system files so generally people will allocate some other drive for this for these MATLAB files and this this can be called as workspace also and this is current directory and the second one is command window here we can type some commands so that it will give us the results okay let us see which commands we need to use and all these things in our further videos and coming to the other thing the other one is workspace where we can store some information in workspace maybe in some some of the applications we will use this workspace we need to send to workspace and we need to retrieve from workspace these things will be done so whenever it comes definitely we will discuss in detail and coming to other for other part that is command history so whatever whatever things we have done that will be stored in the history and here some history files are there CLC means clears the screen and uh, likewise some some comments were already I have done I have typed some of the comments so this is overall structure of MATLAB in general MATLAB is simulation software here we can do two types of things one is programming and second one is simulating. programming means we can type the programs and we can do some we can get get some output desired output and here as as we know for each and every software there is file under this new file will be there new yum file so if you click on this you will get one new file like this untitled file here you can type some commands and finally this is save and run so here you can click it so that the file will be run and finally you will get the output this is the overall thing for the programming file and this file will be stored with the extension dot m and and coming to the other thing simulink this is called simulink library simulink so if you click on this Simlink library will be open. Actually, my my intention is to introduce Simlink only, where we can directly get the blocks, so that we can connect the blocks and we will get the result. So this is called Simlink browser, Simlink library browser. Here again file is there, again new model is there. Here I can open one model and this is one model. From this library, I can take some of the blocks to this untitled file so that I can connect here and I can get the result in this file only. So this is Simulink library and this is the Simulink file. Previously, I explained the normal file, I mean programming file and that file will be stored with .m and this file will be stored with .mdl so first I like to introduce only the Simulink here Simulink 
how to do from i mean simulation in simulink by using simulink library browser and i like to show you only one example and that example is very simple i like to connect a dc source to two res resistors where i can see the current passing in the entire circuit and the voltage across each and every resistor and also with the voltage source and i like to show all these things in a waveform manner and also by using display block i mean by i can also like to display the value of the voltage also so this is what i like to do so first i need to i will start here this is my untitled file so i let me make it bigger and here also this is library browser the icon is available here also so i will take it out so this is the thing now i will introduce simulink library browser there are so many tools here libraries so many libraries are available here but in most of the power electronics power systems and also some other electrical and electronic related programs we require as per my knowledge is concerned we require only two libraries one is simulink library and the second one is sim power systems here somewhere here sim power systems library this one and simlink library this one again there are some other sub libraries maybe commonly used blocks continuous discontinuous discrete logic and bit operators likewise so many other things are there i like to introduce only which one is very important for power electronics and power systems things so first commonly used blocks in general we will use bus creator bus selector dmux even constant also gain is there uh, logical operator we will use in general this is input block this is output block these two will be used in the sub systems i will do for each and everything i will do different different videos so you can follow them and in likewise we will use some all these things we will definitely use maybe for pwm pwm technique we will use this one relational operator and scope is the for each and every every file we need to use scope to see the waveforms similarly sum is there that can also be used similarly all these things will be used so in general commonly used blocks will be used uh, and sinks means ending points maybe scope is also one of these things and display is one of these things and sources are there maybe here repetitive sequence is there used for pwm control step is step input is there sine wave is there and pulse generator is also there so all these things will be present here and coming to sim power systems here electrical sources are there ac source dc source and elements are there some different different elements are there machines these are the machines and measurement blocks are there power electronic block is also there so this is the introduction to simlink library browser and in the next video i will show you how to how to simulate how to get the simulation by using only one example one is dc voltage with two resistors connected in series and i like to tell you what is the current flowing through the and the voltage across the resistors and that will be shown in the next video so if you like this video please like the video and if if you have any doubts please write in the comment box if if i commit any mistake please let me know in the comment box only and please share this video and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel thank you thank you one and all